Let us review three math components, the round, the absolute, and the negative component, and continue working with these two. As you can see, the numeric slider, the range, the domain goes from minus 2 to positive 2, with two decimal places. All right? So now I want to connect my number first to this uh, math component that you can find right here, the absolute component. Drag and drop. Let's place it over here. And notice that this is a little bit different from the round component. They look the same, but look at the bitmap. It is different. All right? So don't confuse those two. So let's see what we can do with these two components. Let me connect the 10.75 into the absolute math component. As you can see, nothing happens. The number stays the same. But if we change the value to minus 10.75, I guess you already know what's going to happen. It, the absolute component, makes this value positive all the time. All right? Here, if I use the numeric slider, I will get always the positive value of minus 1.12. So don't forget the absolute value. Is really handy. Now, let's delete the absolute value component and let us work with the nest component, the round component. As you can see, we are going to use 1.41. And let's check the result is going to calculate the nearest number to 1.41 and that will be 1. If we increase it to 153, guess what? It's closer to 2. Now, the smallest, this is 0, 1.43, the smallest whole number it will be 1. And how about this one? Oh, it is close to 2, so it becomes 2. All right, I have another one for you today. And I like this one. It makes my life easier. It will multiply by minus 1 whatever value I plug in. It could be a single value or it could be a list of values. So notice that the domain goes from minus 2 to 2 there. And now we are going to plug in the slider to the negative value. So it's going to multiply 2 by minus 1. Let's see the uh, result. Let's 
connect, bingo, minus 2. So if we set the slider to a negative value, let's say here, that could be perfect, minus 1.37, minus, multiply by minus, will give you always positive. So I hope you understand and you can find these uh, math components and you use them often. So here they go.